The first video on this channel covered the closure of Caltrain's Atherton Station. It was a somber part of Caltrain's modernization project to seeing a historic station close, but this time we get to see an old station get a complete remodel. And so today the Trans Bay looks at the new Hillsdale station. Now just like we did with the Atherton station video, let's start with history. Hillsdale Station had been around since the early days of the San Francisco and San Jose Railroad. The first depot was built in 1901 by Southern Pacific when the station was known as Beresford. Because the entire area was known as Beresford. Because Hillsdale didn't actually exist yet. It was in 1939 that developer David D. Bohannon began construction on the Hillsdale neighborhood, a series of whites only developments. But Bohannon offered to update and remodel the station for Southern Pacific and pay for construction costs himself. But it was on the condition that the station be renamed to Hillsdale. In 1941, the station opened with its new depot. The development of Hillsdale would suffer some delays due to the war, but soon after the station would sit on Hillsdale Boulevard overlooking the new Hillsdale neighborhood. And in 1954, the Hillsdale Shopping Center would open up across the street from the station, though it's a very wide street. Yes, this is Hillsdale, popularly known as the heart of the San Francisco Peninsula. Now to the east of Hillsdale was the Bay Meadows Horse Race Track, which had been around since the mid-1930s. Even after the Peninsula commute became Caltrain in 1985, there was still train service to a Bay Meadow station just slightly north of Hillsdale. I say station, but it was more like a hole in the fence people would get off at. This Bay Meadow pseudo station would close in 2005 when the Hillsdale station built a northbound platform, allowing for better access to the racetrack from the station. But the racetrack itself didn't last much longer, closing down in 2008 and being demolished to make way for a new neighborhood that would feature shops, offices, and housing. And it was this change that would be a major catalyst to the renovation project that this video is about. The new Hillsdale station was all part of the specifically named 25th Avenue Grade Separation Project. The project encompassed three sub-projects. A grade separation at 25th Avenue, of course. Then an extension of 28th and 31st Avenues to connect to Delaware Street and also feature grade separations. And finally, a new Hillsdale station at the new 28th Avenue crossing. The grade separations would allow for better traffic flow and less horn noise. The new Hillsdale station itself would allow for a more pedestrian-oriented area and better transit connections. It would also be closer to the new Bay Meadows offices and restaurants. While the station is no longer across the street from the Hillsdale Mall's main entrance, it is close to the new extensions that were added in recent years. The entire project officially broke ground in 2017 and continued with good consistency. On the 16th of May in 2020, the old Hillsdale station closed for good. The new station was estimated to open in late 2020, but delays from the COVID-19 pandemic forced an extension. On the 26th of April, 2021, the new Hillsdale station opened to the public. The entire project is scheduled to complete by the end of 2021, since the extension of 31st Avenue and the complete grade separation of 25th Avenue are still yet to be completed. But for now, with a new station in a new developed location, Caltrain continues to update its system, and we wait until the day we can see those electric units start running on the tracks. This has been the Trans Bay, once again providing transit-oriented content for the Bay Area. See you next time.